Okay, I'm about to change the oil on my van. It's been a while. Uh, the last time I changed it was 274. I'm at 276,038 miles on my van. The reason why we're not driving the van so much is because I got uh, my wife's car that we drive most of every day. And this is just a backup. I put about maybe 2,000 miles on it since the last video. So it's time to put in some new oil in it. It's been maybe almost a year since I changed the oil. So let's do that now. Okay, the tools you would need, you need one of these, uh, uh, a filter remover. It's a grip, it's really handy. And then you need a, a ratchet with the extension and with a 9 16th uh, uh, socket. And you need oil filter. I chose this one because it goes with a synthetic or conventional oil. And then I'm using seafoam, seafoam, and Penzo oil 5W30 for older vehicles. Um, my, my engine takes uh, five quarts. This is five and it takes a little bit more, maybe, maybe three fourths. No, not three fourths, uh, but uh, about right up in here. Uh, maybe 300 milliliters. Milli ah, can't even talk right. About right here. <laughs> so, I don't want to get the ground all dirty. So I'm going to use this cardboard. Pick up under here. About right there. Okay, before you uh, drain, start draining your fluid, go ahead and pop the hood and go ahead and remove this so all the oil can drain fat better or faster because it got air going inside the crankcase. All right, there goes my drain plug. Let's get this undone. Well, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I did that with one hand. Okay, let's go ahead and start draining this oil. It looks kind of black. It looks really black. Go ahead and put it right here so I won't lose it. Draining, so I'm gonna go ahead and hand twist this. Ah, there we go. I don't like this design because the oil goes everywhere. You see this? I don't like this design. If you don't have gloves, you're gonna get oil everywhere. So put that there. And the reason why I use the cardboard, because I don't want that on my uh, pavement or my driveway. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up. So all I have to do is just put it on and go from there. Okay, go ahead and clean the surface. Make sure there's no debris on it. Take a little bit of oil, the new stuff, not the old stuff. And go ahead and open it up. And dip your finger in the oil and rub the gasket. Rub the gasket. Okay, now I'm going to add seafoam. This is 16 ounces, but I only need uh, four and a half ounces of this stuff, so I need to go ahead and measure this out. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pour the seafoam. I got exactly four and a half ounces of this. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. Now, I'm going to set, set it on the ground and get, get the funnel. Put it in there. Grab the oil. So I won't make a mess. That's why I'm doing this. So I don't want to get pour oil in it. Let it drain. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in my crankcase. One, so that, and it's still leaking, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and tighten everything up. If I can do this with one hand, okay. Go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna just hand tight it for right now. Okay, go ahead and move this out of the way a little. Go ahead and put this my new oil filter in. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. You don't want this too tight. You want to be able to take it off later whenever you go changing your new oil. Okay, that should do it. Now it's time to tighten this up. I don't know if you want to get this. Okay. All right. Now it's time to now it's time to clean off all the oil, so I would know exactly what it, if it's leaking or not. Go ahead and clean off the oil filter. Clean this off. Clean that. Go ahead and clean the plug. Just clean everything that you see oil. Put some oil in the in here. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, and I spilt it a little. Okay. Remember when I told you you can find out exactly how much oil to put in your your engine? You can add all this back into one, your, the old container. Go ahead and take remove this. I put some newspaper down so it won't get on my uh, floor. Okay. Time to pour this. Back in here. And it's black. 
the in oil in, and the line has to be, I don't know if you can see this, but the line has to be right there where the arrow is. You see the arrow? At that line. So it's good. Go ahead and start start this car up, if I can put this dipstick back in, okay? It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, it is. All right, all I'm listening for is, if there's any kind of knocking, I'm shutting the vehicle off, okay? Kind of a hard start up because I think my battery is kind of low. for watching and if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and down at the bottom hit that bell notification and so you would never miss out on another video and give me a thumbs up thank you